the external and the internal layers are normally intact. They do separate at specific areas and form the dural sinuses or the dural partitions. So the dural sinuses meninges. They protect and enclose its contents, that is the brain, spinal cord, inside the skull and the vertebral column. The three layers from outside to inside are the dura mater, arachnoid mater, and the pia mater. So these three layers, they are from outside to inside. Now, this diagram shows the three layers of the meninges, and these three layers of the meninges, they are the outside is the dura mater, and then it is the arachnoid mater, and then it is the pia. So this pink, dark pink is the pia, which is very intimately blended with the surface of the nervous system, that is the cerebrum over here, and then there is the dark green color, and this dark green color line is the uh, erectoid better, and then this is the dark gray color, and this is the durometer. So these three layers, they are going to cover the nervous system. Now again, these are the meninges we will discuss later. The cranial durometer, the outermost layer of the cranial meninges is the tough and durable and contains the two layers in the skull and one layer in the spinal cord. So the two layers in the skull, they are the external periosteral layer and the internal meningeal layer. So you can see again into this diagram that there are two layers. This is the outer layer, which is intimately blended with the skull bones. And this is the periosteral layer. And in other way, this is named to be the periosteum inside the skull. So this periosteral layer is the thick layer, which is the outermost layer of the erectoid meter. So, sorry, durometer. So this is the inner layer, which is the meningeal layer, and it is going to form the meninges along with the erectoid meter. So this thick layer, which is inside, is the meningeal layer, and this thick layer, which is outside, is the periosteral layer. So there are the two layers of the dura mater. So these two layers are very intimately blended with each other also. So the periosteral layer is attached to the under surface of the skull bones. Now this periosteral layer is not present in the spinal cord. It goes along the inside of the skull bones up to the foramen magnum and at the foramen magnum only the meningeal layer continues with the dura mater of the spinal cord. And the dura mater of the spinal cord is the only single layer that is the meningeal layer. So the periosteral layer normally fused with the skull. It houses the meninges or the meningeal arteries and the nerves. The fluid can accumulate between this layer and the skull, creating an extradural space following the trauma. So if there is any trauma to the skull bones, then the fluid or the blood can be accommodated in between the skull and the periosteral layer. And this collection, if it is the blood, it is called the extra dural homotoma because it is outside the dura meter. So it is extra dural means outside, not the inside. If it is inside, then it is called as the intradural. So the extra dural hematoma is the reason of the fracture of the skull bones where the periosteral layer is separated from the skull bones. So another layer is the internal, that is the meningeal layer, and the spinal dura mater joins the foramen magnum. So these two layers, that is the spinal cord meningeal layer and the skull meningeal layer, these both unite at the foramen magnum. 